Show me. Every day you do a walk through the whatever venue we go to and just look for areas that we're going to see that are potential problem areas. And then we meet with the security staff, which usually has a plan in place. And then we just make sure that their plan syncs with our plan. What's your camera policy in general? Um, just small, anything that can fit in a pocket, nothing with a detachable lens or professional, um, and no iPads as well. That, that works with us. Especially when you're doing like venues, you want to get the house security on your side. Because a lot of times what happens is people in our side of the profession, we just do it on our own. We don't talk to these guys. We figure they don't know what they're doing. And it just makes our job harder. Or you end up cutting heads. So having these meetings ahead of time, incorporating them to them, making them feel like they're part of the tour and that they're vested in it, always works out to our advantage. Put you in this van and pull up to the door over there. The more access that you give someone, the more potential you have for something to go wrong. So in a second, I'm gonna take the bus and I'm gonna put him in the car here. And you've gotta find that balance in that sweet spot. I have that conversation with a client or management. I say to them that, hey, I can make it so that nobody sees you, nobody comes into your circle or whatever. They go from the stage to, you know, a blacked out limo, but there's an inherent risk in that. And obviously, if you take a, even just a tour into account, you know, any type of injury or something like that could, could sideline everything. So it's important to find that balance. If we can put everything in place systematically every time we go into a new venue, then we don't have any issues. We kind of eliminate them beforehand. So then it's just a smooth show.